Hey, good day to you. This is Todd. I am a regular dude walking in the world. Hey, I just got back uh, from a bike ride, so I thought I would come in here into the studio and uh, complete the filming of this um, uh, book of Colossians. This is fitting as I finished up the bike ride, and it was a journey that I journeyed out to my State Park and then uh, came back. But this book uh, of, Col of Colossians was on a journey. Paul wrote the book, and then he sent it by way of uh, a man named Tychus. And Tychus took this book and then delivered it to the people of Colossae. And he talks about that. And in this last section that we're going to read today, uh, it's, I've entitled it The Associates. And this is where Paul is talking about um, the people associated with him. And, um, and what I want us to see is how Paul surrounded himself with associates to help him in the ministry, but then, um, yeah, also to just be godly brothers uh, surrounding him, which is what we need to. We need pe godly people surrounding us and to oftentimes help us in situations. Remember, Paul's in prison, so he can't be uh, writing a letter and taking it himself. He writes a letter, he takes it by way of, he has sends Tychus on on the way to take this letter and then he also hears back from Tychus. Tychus you know verbally tells Paul what's happening there and has told him and then Tychus will tell the people of Colossae what is happening uh, with Paul okay so let's read here today and we're gonna go through this and kind of look at the different people uh, surrounding Paul's uh, life and he mentions uh, those people uh, here all right, so it starts out, and this is taken from Colossians uh, chapter 4, verses 7 through 18. It says this, Tychius will, t will tell you all the news about me. Okay, he's he's coming. He's not going to just hand a letter to you and go, oh, here, uh, thank you. And he's actually going to spend time there and tell uh, what's happening with Paul. He is a dear brother and a faithful minister and a fellow servant in the Lord. Oh, that's a lot there, that uh, really commending Tychus. I'm sending him to you so that you may know about our circumstances and that he may encourage your hearts. He is coming with Onesimus, our faithful and dear brother, who is one of you. They will tell you everything that is happening here. Okay? So Tychus is coming. He's bringing this guy Onesimus. Okay? If, you've, if you're familiar with the New Testament, you're thinking, Onesimus, I've heard that name someplace. Well, you have. And it's actually from the book of Philemon. Onesimus was a runaway slave, and he is actually sent with a letter uh, from Paul. He's going to be going, so it's probably like a circuit that they're going to do. He's, Onesimus is also going to be sent with a letter to Philemon, his, his, his master that he ran away from. And Paul's going to say, hey, can you take um, Onesimus back? He's now a Christian. He's a dear brother just like you are a Christian, okay? So that's Onesimus. Let's keep reading here. This is verse 10. My fellow prisoner Aristocrus sends you his greetings, as does Mark, this cousin of Barnabas. You have received instructions about him. If he comes to you, welcome him. Jesus, who is called Justice, also sends greetings. These are the only Jews among my co-workers for the kingdom of God. And they have proved a comfort to me. Epaphras, who is one of you and a servant of Christ Jesus, sends his greetings. He is always wrestling in prayer for you, that you may stand firm in the will of God, mature and fully assured. I vouch for him that he is working hard for you and for those at Laodicea and Heropolis. Our dear friend Luke, the doctor, and Demas send greetings. Okay, these guys stay, stayed with him. Actually, Luke stayed with him. Demas actually fell away from the Lord then. Give my greetings to the brothers and sisters at Laodicea and Nymph Nymphia and the church in the house. After this letter has been read to you, see that it is also read in the church at Laod of the Laodiceans, and that in turn you read the letter from Laodicea. So, the these letters would be passed from church to church, okay? So, Paul would write the letter to the Colossians, but it was intended, after it's read in Colossae, send it on to Laodicea and let them read it. Tell Archippus, 
See to it that you complete the ministry you have received in the Lord. I, Paul, write this greeting in my own hand. Remember, I am in chains. Grace be with you. I conclude with that statement. Grace be with you. Thanks for watching, and I encourage you today. Surround yourself with associates, godly associates, that can encourage you and help you in your Christian walk. And uh, thanks for watching as we've concluded Colossians. And join us tomorrow as we start the book of Numbers. We're back in the Old Testament looking at the book of Numbers. And that is an exciting book. Thanks for watching. I will see you tomorrow.